Hello. 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 All right. We are doing a bonus live today because our cookbooks are on sale 50% off right now, guys, for the ebooks and 35% off for the print books. We are talking about extreme grocery shopping. And since everybody says I'm a big, big cheapskate, a <laughs> tight wad, frugal something or another. Frugalista. Frugalista. <laughs> I am here to talk about groceries. Now I discovered this. Um, I discovered this on <laughs> uh -oh. the government website. And I have to tell you, Oops, I oh I didn't the mean to do that. Um thrifty food plan. The thrifty food plan. And I was like, seriously? So <laughs> I was trying to let's see, can I zoom in here? Did that help? You just click on this. Okay, there. Now, if you look here, the average thrifty fruit food plan is $976.60 for a male and a female a and month? two children a month. A month? Oh, my goodness. A <laughs> you you month. are a cheapskate. <laughs> do you fully appreciate your wife? Not that you haven't ever fully appreciated I your do. wife. I but... do. Oh, man. No wonder people are broke. <laughs> so this is why people can't pay their bills because they listen to the government. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. There is no reason any family of four, I don't care what state you are, including New York City and San Francisco, LA, I'll give Alaska. That's the only place I will give that could possibly have a food bill that high. $976. I spend $400 on average for our groceries some months like this month we had an exceptionally large medical bill to pay so i'm not going to be growing grocery shopping for a few months not anything major i'll pick up a few things like uh the fresh fruits and vegetables that are on sale like this week we are having um oranges that are on sale and apples that are on sale and um, what I do is I go and look at my ad and decide, well, here's what we're having for fruits and vegetables. They've got apples for 68 cents and oranges for 58 cents. If I was really needing to be a tightwad, I would go to the other grocery store, which has chicken on sale. But you can see here, ground beef, $2.59 a pound. That's what we would be eating if we needed to cut back even further. Now, thankfully, I have built up my stockpile. And so when we need to save money, I can just go and get my cheap groceries. And then when we get money back in stock again, I'll just restock again when things are on sale. And I just have, excuse me, to glance over and Mid, Midwest mom says, had a friend tell me yesterday that she spends $600 every two weeks on groceries, two adults, two teens. That's ludicrous. I have two teen boys and a husband and I don't spend that much money. That's $1,200 a month. $1,200 a month. We, we had six people and we were paying less than that. And we Seven. know Jonathan... Our good friend uh -oh. who's in Georgia now is not spending that much of a month, right, Jonathan? Because you've been watching us for so many years. <laughs> we love Jonathan. I have to give him a hard time. Um, but, and Patty Grove, hello. She made the peanut butter cookies this morning. Yes. When you, <laughs> John, wait, Jonathan says, well, is he still? What are you, Jonathan, <laughs> you better not be spending that much money on groceries, sir. Uh, oh, my goodness. I didn't, Jonathan, I didn't even ask you, Jonathan, how much that stuff cost. But <laughs> what, what, what is he confessing that he bought? Uh, it's, it's just between guys. <laughs> he is spending all. Oh, I'm covering for you, man. Jonathan. 
We should have headed up to Georgia. <laughs> yes, we should have. Oh, we talked about it. <laughs> oh, he says he might need some help. You have been watching us for what? Eight years? Nine years? <laughs> Poor Jonathan. He loves us. I don't know what you bought, Jonathan. But <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but here's the thing, guys. Yes, inflation is up. But... Just because inflation is up, that is not an excuse to go crazy on groceries. You can still easily spend $100 per person or less on groceries. And if we go back to the thrifty food plan here, for an adult male, 50 to 70, they say $268. For an adult male, 20 to 50, $300 a month. That's how much I spend for my three adult males total wow. in my family. Yeah. Well, or almost adult, the same as adult. So you need to start cooking from scratch, get a good cookbook, dining on a dime cookbook, 35% off our print books, volume one and volume two. Also our gluten-free, dairy-free edition, food allergies and sensitivities are not an excuse to go up on your grocery bill. I'm gluten-free, dairy-free. And our grocery bill did not go up. Actually, it's funny because we were on the road recently and Jack was saying, because we ate some fast food on the road, and Jack was like, oh, I just don't like McDonald's or all these other things because <laughs> Tara buys these boxes of hamburger patties and he just makes it, he and Dave make their own. And those They're are, actually pretty proud of themselves when they do it. Too. And those aren't even on sale. Those are just i mean those kinds of things don't go on sale in my town i used to get them on sale but in my town the walmart price is the sale price for a lot of things i mean i shop the ads a lot but my town is extremely limited we only have two grocery stores and walmart so jonathan says you missed out on doing the lord's work here in georgia <laughs> that sounds like it don't confess man i got you <laughs> All right. I want your phone pass passcode. I want your phone passcode. I want to see the texts. <laughs> um, how long did $1,600 worth of groceries last you? Oh, a long time. I mean, it would be four months worth of groceries for us because I spend about $100 per person. Now, talking about Jack going out to eat, this is another big, big one. Guys, dining on a guy in cookbook, easy recipes so you don't have excuses for not cooking at home. As a matter of fact, just last night, I spent five minutes cooking dinner. Why? Because going out to eat because I'm too tired or I don't feel like cooking is not an option for us, period. Period. We will go on a taco date. That's in our entertainment budget. But we split a plate of fajitas, and that's that's what we, we do for eating drinks, out. We don't buy drinks. We don't buy appetizers. We don't buy desserts. And so. And we take leftovers home after sharing because yeah. the, the portions are huge at places. But if I don't feel like cooking, going out to eat is not an option, period. It's just not an option. So like when I showed you the video from the fall when my kids were here and they got that pizza and it was $29, my kids were doing that as a special treat for them. But I would never, unless, unless it was like something where a kid maybe asked for it as a birthday um, dinner or something like that, I would possibly do it for that. But I wouldn't get drinks and I wouldn't go to the restaurant and pay a tip and all of that kind of stuff. I mean, I would just get a pizza and bring it home. But last night, five minutes is all I spent in the kitchen. I cut up a pepper. I cut up an onion. And I pulled some ham packets from the freezer, stuck them in the oven. And in less than five minutes, I had dinner cooking through a thing of rice in the rice cooker. And that was it. And we had sweet and sour ham for sweet and sour pork for our dinner with five minutes worth of work. 
sloppy joes, tacos, bean goulash, green chili. All of those are really fast, easy recipes right here, guys, in our cookbooks. You guys testify. Put in there and let people know some of your I will not go out to dinner and or I will not eat out. These are my dinners instead. Give us some of examples of what you guys fix. Yeah, Kimberly says it was grilled cheese night. Exactly. Fix yourself grilled cheese with tomato soup. P fix you a ham and cheese. Fix you a bowl of cereal, people. What? Uh, it's or, okay. Or, did you know cereal has like <laughs> fiber and <laughs> grain and all that? Well, the thing is, people are so obsessed and worry about eating healthy, but they'll go and spend $50 now to eat out. It's absolutely ridiculous. And that's at McDonald's. But they won't go home and just make a box of 50 cent macaroni and cheese or make a bowl of cereal or some oatmeal or some cream wheat or some pancakes. Margaret says breakfast is Breakfast for supper. Yep, that's a great way to go. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, box of cereal. Yep. Well, a lot of people really think that there needs to be something kind of whippy every time. See, it I took does your word, not. Whippy. See, but <laughs> but you know, people aren't going to starve if if it's not a proper traditional dinner. It is perfectly sometimes. okay. You are not going to have major malnutrition if you eat cereal even once or twice a week for dinner. I would rather have you eat a bowl of cereal and save that 40 to $50 and then go to the store and buy chicken that's on sale for the month. You could spend $40 and have chicken for the entire month for that same $40 by just eating one bowl of cereal. And then you're eating healthy on the rest of the month mm -hmm. or go buy a box a box, not the microwave stuff. You can boil a plan of water unless you're living in a hotel room. And if you're in a, living in a hotel room, then get the little microwave things. That's still cheaper than eating out. You have to think for yourself and think, how am I going to eat without spending so much money this week? $1,000 for four people on the thrifty plan is absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd. I can't believe that's the thrifty plan. What's funny is people will say, well, where I live in XYZ state, you can't get those prices. But every time we look up ads in the places when people say that, and you're just not shopping at the right stores. Yeah. Like, because we always find those prices even not in the United States, we've found those prices everywhere but Norway. Yeah. Norway is legitimately expensive. Yeah, Norway is ridiculous. And I'll give Alaska. Alaska is pretty expensive too because they have to ship everything in. But even Hawaii, when I went and looked at their ads, it was so much cheaper um, for some things than we can get here. There were some things that I was like, holy cow, it's cheaper in Hawaii than it is here in Sheridan, Wyoming. I couldn't believe it. We're so, a little more off the beaten path. <laughs> so Barbara says the definition of thrifty has been hijacked. No kidding. I watched some of these YouTubers who are saving money on their grocery bill, and I keep my mouth shut. But I just want to do a response video and say your Chobani yogurt is not thrifty and that's not a necessity. Your orange juice in the bottle is not thrifty and that's not a necessity. <laughs> I don't say anything, but your blueberries. You'll say something. Oh my goodness, the amount of blueberries and strawberries people buy out of season. I might buy frozen strawberries or blueberries if they're a reasonable price in the grocery store, but I, I can guarantee you I never buy strawberries and blueberries fresh except for June and July and August. Occasionally, I buy them when they're on sale. But I just don't buy those things. And how many people have their carts just full of all this fresh fruit. I mean, that's fine. Get your fruits and vegetables. But not when the off season. But not in the off season the when you're paying. Fly from New Zealand. 
$5 for eight ounces of strawberries. It's absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yes, Becca, thousand month. That's what they're 900. And what did we say it was? $976 is the thrifty plan, according to the government. Have you heard the saying, we're from the government and we're here to help? Yeah, no, it ain't going to happen. And so stop listening to the government. Stop listening to these people talking about how bad grocery prices are. Yes, they've gone up. A lot of things in my Walmart have doubled. I totally get it. But it is still extremely affordable. And so... Uh, so that is my tip. Stop. <laughs> Stop eating out and wasting hundreds of dollars eating out. Stop shopping at the grocery store without using the ads, without using the coupons, the digital coupons and all of those. And start saving money on fruits and vegetables and things that are on sale and in season. All right, Mike's going to uh, send me your questions. And guys, our cookbooks are on sale. This is where you need to start. Dining on a Dime Cookbook Volume 1 and Volume 2 start here. 35% off all of them and our gluten-free, dairy-free edition right here. And we also have our undated planners. We have some of those left, 366 days, 400 pages undated so that you can start right now and you don't lose any dates. It will definitely help you get organized. All right. Did you get me the question? I've already got some on a second one. Ooh, they're hopping tonight. Was everybody shocked when, <laughs> um, did you hit send? I believe so. I shall check. Mm, da, 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 da. Oh, Sorry, no. guys. I'm not seeing it. The message is not going through. I'll check while he's doing it. Kimberly says, I'm floored by how many things at Walmart have doubled in price. Yes. Things that were 75 cents are now 225. Yes, I am seeing that and we only have albertson's and ridley's which is a small hometown type grocery store so and ridley's isn't really that great to be honest i mean i showed you the ad and i get some things there but connie says our sloppy joe recipe is the best yes stop buying man which mix and take literally two minutes to make your own sloppy joe mix really about 25 cents worth of ingredients and Oh, I sent it five to minutes else. worth of work. Just some random person. You sent you sent my question. <laughs> sent all the questions. No, just kidding. I didn't really. <laughs> I don't know where they went. Okay. Uh, Irene says, "So glad to watch you live. Thank you for all you do. Thank you so much." She's in the middle of a snowstorm in Maine. Ooh, waiting. Oh, she's waiting for another snowstorm in Maine. Oh my. Wow. Sounds like people everywhere, all, all across the country, are getting a lot of snow. We got snow yesterday and today. Hello, Nancy. I was looking at the seats today, Nancy. Thank you so much for those. Getting ready to get them. We have snow on the ground and I'm putting plants in. Edifying, I just spent $135 on groceries for a family of nine. Half of it was stocking up on diapers. Wow, that is great. Not many good sales right now, but the few things that were, were good price. Good. She stocked up. She's hopefully praying for... Uh, better sales next week for Easter. Yeah, me too, because our sales this week were nothing. I've noticed things are, are really going down. Natalie, where in Sheridan do you recommend shopping? I don't recommend anything because I don't want all the good stuff going. Who's thrift store? Is that what she's in? Um, let's see. I do not recommend Urban Thrift and the Salvation Army. Wow. I don't recommend going there. Their prices are ridiculous. All the other thrift stores I hit on a regular basis once or twice a week. Um, usually my thrift store round takes me like literally 20 minutes. Our town is so small. I'll run into one thrift store, go to the other one, hit the third one, and I'm home within a half an hour. So, <laughs> um, but I know what I'm looking for and... I go in, get out, and am done with it. Um, grocery shopping, I just watched the ads at Albertsons and Ridley's. I will tell you, Ridley's is really hit or miss. Sometimes they have good stuff and sometimes they don't, so it's good to just check. Hello, Connie from Deadwood. They got snow too. 
Edifying says that chart frustrates me so much. I'll have to cover my ears for a bit where family nine has spent less than that on food and household items. And that's the chart for food only. I know. I know. It's crazy. Nancy says, I've never had. Oh, your email just arrived. The other one? <laughs> Nancy says, I've never had a bill that high, even when we had three teenage boys in the house. I know. I had seven people living in my house. Three teenage boys, men, one young man, two teenage girls, and me, and my bill still wasn't that high. Patty, I made the peanut butter cookies this morning. Thank you. Volume one. Aren't those good? I should make Jack some. Um, Wendy, we don't have prices anywhere near that low where I live in New York. No, but you can find prices. I've proven it over and over again. Um, just go back and watch some of my other grocery stores. I have, I have done groceries all over the country and I guarantee you the only place where you can't get cheap groceries is Alaska. Um, Virginia, I had the same reaction when I saw this last week. I fed four adults for $514 and that includes stock up. So guys, I'm wondering if you spend a hundred dollars or less per person, type one. If you spend $100 or more per person on your grocery bills, type two. I'm really curious. Um, what your thoughts are, or I mean, what your grocery bills are on that. I'm trying to, sorry, I saw somebody say thoughts or something. So I was reading. Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, it's about half and half. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Um, Tanya, I was told not to include non-food items like toilet paper and soap and grocery spending. Do you make a separate category? Yes. Only because when I, in every place I've ever lived except Wyoming, I got groceries at a different store than Walmart. And so toiletries and everything has always been cheaper at Walmart than the traditional grocery store. So like I never, I can tell you, I have never bought paper towels, shampoo, hand soap. I've never, ever bought any of those things at a grocery store unless it was a clearance item for like a holiday or something where it was like 90% off or something. But otherwise, I have not ever just gone in and bought a roll of paper towels at the grocery store or just bought diapers at the grocery store. I never have done that. So because now here I buy most of my groceries at Walmart. So it's all together. But yeah, uh, Gigi's Garden have not seen ground beef at that price here, North Central Arkansas in ages. Yeah, I was just kicking myself because I was going to go. Um, I was going to go get some of that. It's probably already sold out. Ms. Midwest mom, she asked how much I spent for five of us. She changed the subject. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you should have told her. She's the one that's her friend was spending $1,000 a month. I would have told her. Janet, I bought strawberries $1.97 at Shaw Market, 14 cents for sweet potatoes. Wow. So I haven't, I don't know what the strawberry prices are going to be this year. Last year it was $1.50 a pound was the stock up price. Um, so if I find, I, I really wouldn't be surprised if they don't go lower than $2 this year, just because stuff has gone up so much. Natalie, my daughter spends less than that and has two teenage boys, a 10 year old boy and a toddler and she buys diapers. Wow. Uh, I guess in the next one, Bounty the Badlands. Once I had a grocery bill of $1,600, but one of our stores was closing out and had everything go on sale 59% off. I would have a $1,600 grocery bill for that. And then here's the thing. Then the next four or five months or six months, you're not going to have a grocery bill yeah. or a very, very small grocery bill. I didn't give you the update, but further down, they were talking about using that for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty brilliant. See, that's what people don't see. They talk about having, well, you're going to have to spend $500 to stock up. Yeah, I'll spend $500 to stock up this month. And then next month, I'll spend $150 or $200. And that'll be it. So, yeah. 
Patty, I started using a half a pound of hamburger meat instead of a whole pound. Yes, that is one of mom's tips in Dining on a Dive Cookbook. That's one of her tips she's been using for years. Uh, edifying, even if you have to spend twice as much because of allergies, that's still less than the government chart says. I know, isn't it crazy? Havana, my daughter has gotten her grocery bill down to a little over $500 for six people. Very good. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, guys. So I threw Mike off, off, the, off the rails here with this, but I'm going to give you our Dining on a Dime Volume 1 for free. Oh, oh Right no. now, Mike's going to go get the link and the coupon code. The coupon code is DINING1, D-I-N-I-N-G, no space, and the number one, not O-N-E, the number one, D-I-N-I-N-G, number one. And I will give you the ebook for free. That's this one right here. So that you can go see for yourself, this will save you money on your grocery bill. And even if you can't afford to buy our book, I will give it to you for free because I know I have been in a situation where we were living off of $900 a month and our house payment was $600 a month for two house payments. Um, I have lived that. And so... I know sometimes you can't afford it and you need something to get you through until you can get your income up. So go enjoy that ebook for free on us. Happy Easter early. <laughs> um, Esther, listening from Indiana. And some of your recipes are diabetic friendly too. Yeah, I've been on a diabetic diet many times with my pregnancies. I was pregnant with all four kids with using my cookbook. You have to modify and it a little bit, right? Yeah, just eat less and stop eating so many darn tootin cookies. I'm overweight because I like to snack. I know that. Boy, those ice cream bars sound really good. <laughs> but I know that I need to just stop snacking, but I'm not. One nice thing to. when people ask about if you should include non-food items, we always keep the food separate because then you can tell, like if you're spending too much on cleaning products, but it's mixed in with the food budget, you won't know. Yeah. So you can tell if it's actually in stuff you're eating or in other things. So that's yeah. why we've always kept it separate. Yeah. Um, da, 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 da. B says, I made hamburger soup and goulash. A full week of food spent $14. There you go. That is great. Patty, if I don't feel like cooking, it's a bowl of cereal for us. Exactly. That's exactly well, what we and, do. Well, and you know, there were a number of people saying cereal is just terribly unhealthy. Oh, but get over it. not actually true. That's, it's, that's that kind of, what, I forgot what you call it. It's the, the, the chic thing to say on like YouTube shows and Oprah, but, well, I don't know if it's Oprah, but those kinds of shows, but it's not actually true. <laughs> there are, there might be a couple of cereals that aren't, aren't great, but even the, even the kids cereals, a lot of them are a lot better than you think. Midwest mom said snowed here to this morning, spent the day cooking, freezer stuff, meals for the weekend. We don't eat out either. Yep. Edifying says on really bad days, have frozen pizza or chicken nuggets on hand. More expensive than a normal meal, but way cheaper than any meal. Amen, sister. That is so true. Elaine, do you think the election season drama will cause prices to rise near the end of the year? At this point, I have no idea what's going to happen. I think things are so crazy. I don't even know if we're going to be here at the end of the year. I think Christians might even be gone by the end of the year. But um, things are just so absolutely crazy and so volatile. Who knows? Both sides are setting up for crazy to happen. So who knows? Terrific. Uh, Tarsha says beans and rice. Yep. Paula says the dining on the dime cookbooks are the best. She's got the red and the blue one for a year. Thank you so much. Jan says, I always have a couple of frozen pizzas on hand too. Yep. There you go. Helen says beef and cheese, corn tacos, three ingredients and delicious. Ooh, that sounds good. Karen, never underestimate the power of grilled cheese and tomato soup or fried eggs and toast. Yes, exactly. Or scrambled eggs and toast or, um, I mean, what else could you have? Just a piece of fried ham with some vegetables? Yeah. 
Amanda warmed up leftovers tonight. Very good. Clean out the fridge. Helen says her and her hubby spend $50 a week on groceries. There you go. $100 per person. Susan, I eat out usually just because it's a family birthday. Yep. We don't. We don't always go out for the kids' birthdays or anything. We didn't really do that. But once or twice, because we never ate out that often. We would, um, for a while there in Colorado, we would go every Sunday after church. But it was like $10 to feed the whole family then. And so now when we moved here and the prices started going up, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not spending $30 for Wendy's every week. Ain't going to happen. Yeah, for a while we were doing that after church but we had a <clears throat> we were able to do like 11 or 12 dollars for the whole family at that point and so we're like oh it's probably all right once in a while yeah but, but the kids never really got into eating at regular restaurants yeah a couple times we even thought we'd take them there and they didn't want to go yeah um okay let's see uh Sorry about that. I lost my place here. Nicholas says I saved $1,000 for 20 years and now he has $240,000 in his savings account. Wow, that's great. There you go. Uh, Bounty in the Badlands, we have a big breakfast, light on the run lunch, a meat, tater, veggie supper, all scratch cook every day. Yep. Wanda, I finally cooked two corned beef briskets in the slow cooker today. We'll divide up and freeze. Very good. That's what I do. She said, thank you, Tara and Jill, for that suggestion on pre-cooking meat. You are welcome. Paula, I always check the per unit or per ounce price to get the best deal. Yes, I do, too. And Cynthia, if a store is having extreme sale on an item for stockpiling, is that included in your $100 per person? Yes, it is. It is included. That's how I get my $100 per person. Because when something's on sale, so let's say, let's say January, let, let's say, Let's say December 26th, after all the grocery stores have been closed for Christmas, and I go in and I find hamburger for a dollar a pound that they have to sell today because it's going to be bad or they can't sell it anymore. Um, I'll go in and buy 100 pounds of hamburger. But then I don't have to buy hamburger for six or nine months, probably nine months. So... Then my grocery bill all those other months is only like three hundred and what sixty dollars then because I'm not buying the hamburger at full price. So well, and we we've kind of gotten to where we can flex it. So if Tara says, "Oh man, there's an amazing deal on something," and she has to spend a lot more than usual that month because we've gotten in the habit of saving on the other months, then it's not usually a problem for us to do that. But like now. I'm not going to be stocking up on anything. Our savings was drained two weeks ago. So now I'm just going to be eating off of what we have. And when we get our savings built back up again, then when I find something on, on less, then I'll go and stockpile. But I mean, we've easily got six to nine months worth of food easily, maybe a year's worth of food. That if I didn't need, if I couldn't go grocery shopping for six to nine months, we could easily eat quite well desserts and everything. So, um, that's why I do it that way because then when things are on sale, I stock up to keep my grocery bill lower. Um, Midwest Mom, local restaurant supplied blueberries, 99 cents, bought a flat, froze them all. Exactly. That's what I did one time when I found blueberries. They were 99 cents for a pound, not just eight ounces, a pound, which was an exceptional deal. I've never seen that deal since. That was in Colorado. And what did I buy? I did a video on it. I think I paid, I think I bought 40 pounds of blueberries. Yeah. Tina spent 102 for a family of three last month and only spent $13 this month. There you go. Very good. I'd be curious to see if you could make it through the rest of the month. There's only, what, 10 more days? Oh, eight more days? Eight more days? Nine more days? Um, Bounty in the Badlands, eating out maybe four times a year. We go to the city and three times on our, on our anniversary. Yep. There you go. Maybe $300 a year eating out. Yep. Very good. 
Paula, we only have Kroger and Walmart in our town. We have to drive 20 miles to our next town over. That is not a bad drive at all. That's what I drove in Colorado to get my groceries. In Idaho, I had to drive 70 miles each way to go get groceries. And let me tell you, it was worth it. We didn't even have a grocery store in our town. We just had this little convenience store thing. And the woman would freeze the bread and the milk and it would be expired months. And then she'd bring it out and put it in the cooler. And we're like, oh, so wonder if that store's still there. Wait, which one? The Nez Perce store. Oh, that's a really good question. <clears throat> I think they could have done a better job with it even being remote like that. Susan, I planted, planted apple and peach trees, all kinds of berries, grapes. Very good. There you go. CC's garden. I have a separate line item for a budget for stocking. There you go. Just do it however you want. If you want to have a separate stockpile budget from your grocery bill, that's totally fine. But when I became an expert at saving on groceries, <laughs> we had to actually sit down with receipts and figure out how much we spent. Because when I was promoting our books, which by the way, guys, are 35% off right now for the print books and 50% off in our store. And the other um, one, everything else is on sale as well. All our ebooks are on sale and our undated planners are 20% off. Um, but when I became an expert, and I had all these newspapers and radio and TV and stuff interviewing me. I had to prove that I was an expert and I, and people wouldn't believe me because what I said was, oh, I think I spent about a hundred and I, well, at the time, I think I said I spent about $150 for Mike and I and the two kids. Well, I finally sat down and added up the receipts over a year and I spent $125 a month for Mike and I and two younger kids. So, and I did that for years until the kids became teenagers. Florida, Jonathan says, Goodwill is pricey now too. Yeah, I won't go to Goodwill either. We haven't uh, been there in a long time. Co-Rooster says, clothing swaps are fun to go to if you have them in your area. Yeah. Peggy, I only eat out once a month with friends. Only eat at home. It's cheaper and better. Yep. Lisa says, smoked sausage sandwiches, barbecue with potatoes and cheese. Yes, macaroni and cheese. All those recipes too, guys. If you need if you need the recipes for those, we have them in our cookbooks. Kimberly, Kimberly, we don't eat that at all. If we get hungry for Chinese, my husband loves the garlic, honey, and soy sauce, chicken stir fry. Yeah, guys, right here, volume two has two or three, I can't remember, two or three pages of Chinese they're very good. sauces to go with your chicken. Yeah. Like, it's funny because I love Chinese food, but it was so expensive to get yeah. it out. <clears throat> and just make it at home. And it's, yeah, it's really, really good. And actually, we have a, I don't think we talk about it very much, but is it in Dining One, the homemade egg rolls? Yeah. That oh. is a really good recipe. Yeah. It's super addicting. Yeah. And in fact, we used to make it sometimes and just eat it as the meal. Yeah. Because it's so addicting. We would, if we had it with the yeah. meal, we might be too much. I haven't made those forever. I should make I those. No, they're so amazing and I miss them. Well, you know why I haven't made them here? Because I haven't been able to find the rice wrappers. Ah. Uh -huh. And I figure if I can't eat them with the wheat wrappers, you can't eat any either. Hmm. <laughs> Stop listening. I can eat them with the wheat wrappers. <laughs> Kimberly says I make them at home so I'm not tempted to go get them somewhere else. <laughs> Kimberly says I'm floored at how many things at Walmart have doubled. Oh yeah, I read that one. Yeah. Jill, my niece's husband is making one recipe a week with their daughter from your book. I got them your set this past weekend. Oh, that's great. See the next one. I know we used to have one gal. She was uh yes. working and she was doing one recipe every day. Kimberly says, my husband prefers the homemade sloppy joes out of the cookbook than ma'am, which I don't buy them anymore. Oh, let me tell you, the homemade is so much better. It's uh, not even a comparison. The homemade, sorry, I was subjected. The homemade which thing? Sloppy joe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the last one was two, right? Yeah. Yeah, and stop buying booze, guys. If you want to save money... Stop buying booze. Coming at you. I know you need to relax, but you know, that is one of the biggest expenses. Um, you got it. Let's see. Okay. I, oh, here it is. Okay. Um, Debbie says, if you don't know how to cook from scratch, the dining on a dime cookbooks are a necessity. She highly recommends them. Thank you. Yes. 
This is the super basic one, like how to make pancakes and French toast and all those really, really basic, have baked potatoes. And this one has the more fancy recipes, but they're still super, super easy. It's not like really hard. Um, it's just, if you have to start anywhere and you don't know how to cook at all, start with volume one. Um, Lori, eggs are $4 a dozen. Holy cow. I haven't checked at Walmart lately to see what they are here because I got some from my good friend Patty when we were in Mississippi. What was it? Eggs. What are eggs here now? Eggs are 206 still, so that's not too bad. Um, should you eat ham if you're swollen or bloated? Well, I don't know. No, if the ham is if the ham is swollen or bloated. Should you eat ham? Oh, if it is swollen. No. Oh, sorry. No. Do not eat it if it's swollen or bloated. Uh, throw it away. For almost any food, if, any it's, food. if it swells yeah. or bloats, it's probably botulism, which is highly toxic. Or a weird Very color. Poisonous. Actually, I went to Walmart uh, three or four days ago, and I looked over at their deli ham. <gasps> it was really spoiled. And I took a video of it. And so that's going to be in one of my upcoming videos showing that, no, it is not worth the... It is not worth the food poisoning experience <clears throat> to eat the ham. Crescent says, I buy at Dollar General on Saturday. I use the app for $5 left 25. Very good. We don't have Dollar General here. Otherwise, I probably would. Lisa, have is, I heard of Family Dollar similar to Dollar General? Similar, but it's not the same store. What is Family Dollar blended with? There's some other Dollar store. Tree now. Oh, is it okay? I don't know. Maybe fa Family Dollar has five off 25 too. I don't know. They probably do because they're competitors of Dollar General. But have I heard of a store called Sharp Shop Shoppers? I heard another YouTuber talk about it, but I have never experienced it myself. Um, Iris has both of our red and blue cookbooks. Thank you. Volume one is the red and volume two is the blue. Lori, she made oatmeal, Walmart, chocolate, Walmart, walnut, <laughs> chocolate chip cookies. Yum. Debbie, last month she paid off her house. Yay. Good nice. job. That is Good a job. huge accomplishment. Congratulations. Great job. <sighs> you weren't lucky. You were smart. Strategic. I hate Jack, it when people say Look, Jack, you said, so Jack said, oh, mom, she said, um, he said, I'm glad you weren't there. I said, what? He said, one of the kids at school said, oh, you're so lucky. Your parents are so lucky to have the house that you live in. And Jack said, oh, mom, I knew your head would fly off your shoulders. <laughs> but at least I when, hate that. At least when a kid says it, they don't understand. <laughs> at least when, it, yeah, when a kid says that, but. When I'm selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace or whatever, and somebody comes to pick it up and they're like, oh, you're so lucky. I'm like, nope, luck has nothing to do with it. This is 30 years of not having car payments. Yeah. <laughs> this is 30 years of driving clunkers. Yeah, we've never, ever had a car payment. We didn't, <laughs> ever. I mean, it's just too expensive if you, not only do you pay more, but you don't realize you're paying more and you drag it out for ages and ages and... <laughs> Wow, we could, we could never have afforded to buy a car if we were doing payments back no. in the day. And now we just don't want to spend that much extra when yeah. we can get it for a lot less. Uh, okay, let's see. Where are we? Paula says her little bell did not go off. Yeah, I don't know, guys. You may have to keep resubscribing to YouTube. They're just being dorks again. Jonathan um, says Jack is a riot. <laughs> he really is. Yeah, what was the other thing he said? Uh Shoot, it was about the house. And there was, oh, I can't remember what the other one was. Wanda says she buys a lot of microwavable foods. That's okay. It's still better than eating out. I'd rather have you do that than eat out. Catherine, any thoughts on intermittent fasting for health reasons, saving money and simplifying meals even more? I'm here mixed thing about. I There's nothing wrong with intermittent fasting. It's fine if you want to do it. Um, yeah, it can save money. And yeah, you it probably is healthier. So you're not eating so many calories during the day. So I have um, chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. And I've noticed when I've tried the intermittent fasting, um, cause everybody keeps telling me, follow this guy and follow that guy. And I go look. And when I try the intermittent fasting, because my mitochondria is not firing correctly, I don't have enough energy. And so I just can't quite make it to noon or one without eating. 
I need that energy. And I guess I need to try it again or something. I don't know. I've been working on um, trying to feel better and I'm doing a lot better, but I still don't have that tweet. Um, Denise. Yeah. I've done the intermittent fasting. Well, I did it one time and it worked pretty well. It was a little hard the way I did it though. It was like. That's eight, just it. You can't maintain it. It was People 500 calories it. one day and then the next day you could eat anything and the next day 500. But on the day you could eat anything, you don't necessarily want to after eating short on the short days. So it ends up being pretty good. Well, and it was a little hard on the 500 calorie day. I had to make it strategic and do like 350 at lunch and then popcorn in the evening to try to keep the 500 calories. But, but I've full. never known anyone who stayed on that. I'm sure you'll find tons of people, but I've never known anyone personally who's been able to stay on that. Um, bounding the Badlands. Uh, it's race. hard. Oh, sorry. The intermittent fasting is hard if your eating problem is emotional. Yeah. I think that was the issue that I had at the time. Hi, Badlands. We raise our own meat, and I have a huge garden that I preserve for winter. There you go. That does skew my grocery pricing. Hey, no, it doesn't. You add that in because that's part of your groceries. So if your groceries are down because of that, that's great. Um, uh, Tanya, what I meant to ask was on the grocery budgeting, do we include non-food items? in a budget or a separate budget. That's just however you want to do it. That's however you want to do it. So I personally just kept mine separate because I shopped at two places. But if you get it all at one place, then you can just add it in the same budget if you want. And I needed specifically to know how much I was spending on just groceries to promote my cookbook. So that was another reason why I did that. Hello, Prepper Princess. Um, Tarsha says, I found hand soap at my full local food food line for 25 cents a bottle about three years ago and they stocked up very good yep I found it for 10 cents after Halloween 90 percent off not last year but the year before and we just finished that hand soap <laughs> or did we finish it yeah no I think we just finished it yeah I think we just finished it Susan I got strawberries for 99 cents a pound but they weren't very ripe yeah if they're not ripe that's really not going to do you any good is it Dee, Dee I've never bought toiletries at a grocery store ever me either. I never bought makeup. I mean, I don't even know what is in that section. Like, I've never bought diapers, uh, formula when the kids were on formula. I never, none of those things. They, I bought all those at Walmart. Uh, but like I said, I had a choice of grocery stores. Natalie, our neighbors asked if we would help them with their garden, then we will split the veggies with us. Yes, please. It's so nice to have neighbors like them. Oh, I know your own little community garden. You know, I'm just sick. Natalie, if you know anybody who's doing the Fifth Street greenhouses, get me in. <laughs> the Fifth Street greenhouses. So they're opening up the Fifth Street greenhouses up here by the high, the high school. Oh, cool. For kids. And they're asking for people to volunteer to help teach the kids how to sow seeds and stuff. And I was like, ooh, if I volunteer, maybe I could put some of my plants in there. Well, and you have a massive amount of experience. Tara's very experienced. I'm like, <laughs> ooh. But then I saw what they were wanting. I was like, oh, that wasn't going to work. But I'm thinking, man, if they had extra space in there that they're not using, could I rent out like a little 346-foot section? <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a huge, massive like two greenhouses or something. I can't remember, but um, yeah, cause we were really planning on getting a greenhouse up, but um, this latest thing, we can't do it now. And I was like, okay, where do I find, I need to go find a greenhouse supplier to exchange for a video. <laughs> Especially after you guys see my seed starting video that's coming up in a couple of days. That's how I broke my camera. What? That's how I broke my camera. How? Because the because the camera flew over outside in our Wyoming breeze. <laughs> yes. <sighs> yeah. Um, Dee Dee. Happy to report that I only spent fifty dollars on groceries last month. Very good. She didn't even feel deprived in any way. Gives me the next one. Paula T says, Diane and Dime cookbooks are fabulous. She has volume one and volume two. Very good. 
That is great. Start there, guys. And our green one is our gluten-free, dairy-free edition. So if you're gluten-free, dairy-free like me, you do not have to be deprived. Also, our undated planners, we have a few left. Undated, 366 days, but 400 pages. But you don't lose any days. You can start now and get yourself organized. Oh, my land, I made your butterscotch and chocolate puddings. They taste so much better than the store-bought. You love those, don't you? Mm, yes. As a matter of fact, I have to not make them because... <laughs> It's a little too, too good. It's a little too good. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Paul and Ken, I spent several hundred on groceries today, but it included boneless leg of lamb for Easter. Ooh, yum. Edifying, making tachos for dinner tonight. What in the world is that? I think she means uh, a with ten pound bag of potatoes is cheaper than a bag of tortilla chips. Oh. Oh, she's taking tater tots and making them into nachos. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Actually, I'm doing, I've never heard them called that, but I'm doing a video for Super Easy Recipes, my other channel. I'm doing a video on that. Oh, that's funny. You should mention that. I didn't know that's what those were called, though. Susan, I buy cleaning products about twice a year when they are really cheap and used sparingly. Yep. Mom and I have so many cleaning products. We're going to be dead before we use all our cleaning products. <laughs> we hit a garage sale where the guy was literally giving them away for free. So we got a whole bunch there. We'd already had several, but then I did all these testing videos. Well, I had to go buy more to do the testing videos. I'm going to die. My children are never going to have to buy cleaning products. My grandchildren probably won't have to buy <laughs> cleaning products if we ever have grandchildren. Um, <laughs> not holding out hope, but <laughs> you never know. <laughs> that was hilarious. I'm sorry. <laughs> True, but hilarious. <laughs> oh, I know what Jack was saying. So Jonathan will find this funny. I remembered what it was. Was it yesterday he came home from school, I think? Yeah. He said, Mom, he said, so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so are wondering when you're going to have a fire pit because you give the best parties. Yes, I was. I was like, I give the best parties? Well, I think. For, I am not a were, party animal. If you've been with us for a while, you might know that last year we started hosting lots of get-togethers with like the school and people from the church and stuff. And wow, I was shocked. All these years, Tara has not been a. I am an, an, an I am an introvert to the extreme. And we've never ever had people over really. And then last year we did a bunch of times, and everyone's like, "You have the best parties." <laughs> I was like, "Wow, that's pretty." Okay. It and was, now some of our viewers have sent me some gnome tablecloths that are going to be super cute. Thank you so much, by the way. <laughs> I don't think I got to show them on the air. I think. I can't remember something happened that week, but thank you very much. I can't wait. And and uh, she's also sent us some pumpkin uh, coffee creamer. It was really super good. Uh, Jonathan says we need to do a fire pit. Yeah. Well, and here it's spring break, and I was like, oh, we could have one next week. It's supposed to be cold all next week. Uh Edifying says, because you're not uptight and kids appreciate that. Well, that's what Jack said. I said, well, why do they think we do the best um, parties? He said, well, probably because you just let them do whatever they want, Mom. <laughs> I was well, like, like, I do? If they were breaking things and I doing do. crazy stuff, we would stop that. But Tara pretty much sets it up, and we put all the people together, and then everyone just does their thing. Well, you know what I thought we need like to that. do? And I was actually looking on Amazon today, but I don't know. What we need to do is get a dance floor for the driveway. That's cool. Because we did have actually a group of kids from the school were learning ballroom dancing. And a lot of them are really good and at swing it. Swing dancing. And they just cleared out everything in the living room and were dancing in the living room, which was pretty amazing. Well, I like, thought, wow, our house is... <laughs> we could get some music, but how could you cheaply make a dance floor? I don't know. Somebody comment and tell us. Well, out on the driveway, you don't necessarily need it. Well, you can't dance on concrete, can you? You don't. They don't want to be swing dancing and tipping girls and dropping them on their heads on. Well, the trick concrete. is not to drop them on their heads. <laughs> I don't know. I hadn't thought about that. 
I mean, I don't know. You don't want, you don't. You could make, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure how we would do that. Because if you put some kind of squishy stuff, then you couldn't dance on that because it's squishy, right? I don't know. Hmm. So anyway, yeah. Nobody's dropped anybody. Well, I guess seriously anyway. Nobody's dropped anybody at our house. <laughs> so, yeah, but I feel really bad if they drop somebody on the well, cement. Well, in the living concrete. room, there was carpet, so. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, sorry. Back to, I just never knew I was a party animal. <laughs> <laughs> on my grave, my kids are not going to write mom the party animal. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. Uh, Carrie says, my husband and I started buying 10 pounds of hamburger meat. We buy two, then cut it all into one pound packages. Yep, that's exactly what I do. Jacqueline, how much do you think you spend on non-grocery household items per month? Um, now that we only have the two kids at home, probably... Well, it depends on what you include. If you include prescription medications, well, no, don't include the prescriptions. So probably, let me think. I'm trying to think of what we buy. Mm, I'd say $25 maybe. Not even that much actually, because like I got all the deodorants for like two years on clearance for free after Christmas a year, you know, for what? 15 months ago for at Christmas and we're still using up that deodorant. Um, toothpaste. I do Mike and Mike and Dave have to have a special toothpaste. So that is about $3 a month. I don't know. How long does the tube to of toothpaste last you? Two months, three months, I think a couple months. I think, I think it's, it's not, close to it's three not months. as big as a regular tube of toothpaste, but it seems like it lasts a couple months. Yeah. And even when we're done, with Tara's idea originally, but I'll, I'll cut the end open and oh. use the rest out of it for about three yeah. or four more days. Yeah. So I don't know, probably $25 on stuff like toothpaste and toilet paper and that kind of thing. Uh, what do we think of bioengineered foods? I have no problem with it. At this point, guys, we're all going to die someday. Seriously. And I just think it's one more thing for people to worry about. And I think you need to get the stress out of your life before you start worrying about that other stuff. Um, Emily loves our cookbooks, volume one and volume two. Thank you so much, guys. They are on sale right now for 35% off our print books and 50% off of our eBooks. And if you missed the free eBook giveaway, go back to the beginning of the show and you will find it. Donna made my husband made homemade pizza tonight. Ooh, yum. That's so the $29 that you guys saw for the pizza for the last video, I was actually going to use it in a video showing how I compare $29 pizza to mom's. That same pizza probably would have cost me $5 or less to make. So I was going to do a video on that, but I found that footage and I was just like, oh, I just got to share this. So Lisa, what veggies do you grow in your garden? So tomatoes, peppers, turnips when dumb rabbits don't eat them. Uh, <laughs> I eat, uh, what are the peas? Not peas, not regular peas, but the snow, snow peas. Is that what they're called? Snow peas. Those ones that look like little flat. Yeah, snow flat peas, pods, the flat yeah. ones, Chinese food peas. Strawberries. I've got blueberries, but the dumb deer ate those last year. So I don't know if they're going to come back. Pumpkins, but those are decorative. Um, onions garlic. I didn't get garlic put in last year though. Um, that's about all. Paula went to Chinese buffet for my dad's birthday and it was disgusting. Our Chinese buffet here is really good. Actually. It makes us all sick when we eat there. But it's really good. <laughs> Every time I've we learned, go to eat there, we're like, Look. but it's really good. I've learned which things I can eat. So I've been better, but yeah, there's Oh, my Lana pulled out a cook, uh, my cooked turkey and cooked burgers and cooked carrots from the freezer bin. Very good. Didn't want to have to eat the house. Uh, Nomi R says, been a super busy day and I was going to get Little Caesar's Pizza for dinner, but you talked me out of it. Pancakes it is. Good for you. <laughs> good for you. Edifying says, the Wendy's four for four is now $7. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Edifying. This is what stockpiles are for. Yes. It's not about prepping for the end of the world. You are right. Let me tell you, when the end of the world comes, your stockpile is not going to help you. It might help you for a little bit, but it ain't going to help you. 
Um, Sue says, I'm also planning on pantry shopping for the month of April, hopefully May as well. Michelle, I have 10 packages of garlic. Nor, I love that stuff. I have never had it. Sounds interesting. Lori, I just want all the Robin eggs and Cadbury mini, mini eggs. Oh, I remember those were so good. Oh, I miss those. Ah, the Cadbury eggs. I shouldn't eggs have sent you that so comment. Good. It's going to tempt you. Oh. <laughs> Donnie says, that is the best point I got from you all is buy on sale and other, buy all food on sale and other items. Yes. You know, I think it was. Well, I don't like them, but I think it was the Duggar dad that said, um, buy used and save the rest or something like that, I think is how he put it. And that's exactly, or buy on sale and save the rest. That's exactly what we do. That's how we have a really nice lifestyle. I mean, I don't think it's really that superior, but we have a really nice house because we've driven used cars for all of our entire lives. Never had a car payment. Can and we've really... never really felt like it was insufficient mm -hmm. that we had a used car. I mean. As, as a matter of fact, I was almost wondering if we should sell the Forerunner and get two cheaper cars. <laughs> <laughs> but we still need one that's well, up above so we can actually well, get up in the mountain. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, so you're the one that wants the four. Ah! I, I No! I didn't see it say. all comes to light. I would have been fine with a used Jeep or something. Uh-huh. Like <laughs> I see. The boys and I go hiking sometimes, and one of the hikes we like to do a lot, there are two rivers that cross the road. So what do we do when it's a garage sale day and a hiking day on the same day? So we have to hike in because, you know, we have to go through the water in the car. <laughs> What's that? What do we do if it's a garage sale day and a hiking day on the same day? Who wins? I guess you'll have to go to the garage sale and give them the money and say, my husband boys will be back later <laughs> if they survive the bears. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, my goodness. Kimberly says, I set aside 10 to $20 a month just for stockpile and unexpected sales. Very good. She said you can get quite a bit with that. Yep, you can. Catherine, health and beauty items listed separate from groceries too. Yes. Becca, this year for now for stuff like me, like a lot of my makeup is a business expense for me. Um, so that's even in a separate category, but I would put that in with my toiletries before it was a business expense in with just our Walmart, you know, stuff. <laughs> Becca, this year for Valentine's Day, we're going to go out to steak and Hesmo's store that came home with two nice steaks. Very good. Yep. What did somebody say? Paula T says, uh huh, Tara, Mike makes it to where you think it was your idea, but it was really his. Shh. <laughs> the truth, you guys saw it live. The truth comes out. <laughs> the truth comes out. Hike to the garage sales. Yes. Actually, the garage sales would probably be a shorter hike than the hikes we go on the mountain. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Natalie loves our egg roll recipe too. Oh man, now you guys got me wanting to make egg rolls. So the only reason why I haven't made them while we were here in Wyoming because I haven't found the rice papers. But I wonder, Walmart didn't have them, but I wonder if Albert, or maybe Walmart was just out of stock when I looked that time. I didn't think about that. Maybe Walmart has them, but I just, because they were out of stock. Yeah, I've noticed on some things that people think are shortages. It's because, at least in our town, a lot of times... Certain days are totally wiped out, and then certain days they're back in stock. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Paula, we had burgers out. You can see the next one because I picked my dad up from the hospital and it was sticker shock. Let me tell you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, Mimi's Frugal Living. I love making my own Chinese food. Yeah. If you guys want really good Chinese food, egg rolls are in here, volume one. But the Chinese chicken, oh my goodness, we've got, let's see, what sauces do we have? I can't remember. We've got, hold on, now you got me thinking and I got to go look. Um, hold on. Oh, this is a really good one too, right here. Twice baked potatoes. Oops, mm -hmm. oops that's the wrong page. Where'd it go? Oh, right here. Twice baked potatoes is really super yummy. We also have um, regular baked potato extra ideas there. Um, 
Oh, if you want macaroni and cheese, yum. Okay, hold on. I gotta get to the. I gotta stop. Oh man, this is making me hungry. Well, where? Where? Oh, here, 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 here. So we've got um, a whole taco section. So like you make one taco meat, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five. There's another one. Five different ways to use the taco meat. And um, here it is, the sweet and sour chicken. So we've got honey garlic chicken, garlic chicken, 40 clove chicken, sweet and sour oh, the sesame. Honey garlic is amazing. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the sweet and sour and the sesame. Those are awesome, too. Chinese garlic, orange, lemon, apricot, all in... Now you're going to make me want Chinese. Volume two. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I actually had already sent you one, and then there's another one after it that I just sent you. When you <laughs> said, send me more, so you're good to go. Sue says, what is my favorite gluten-free recipe? Oh, man, I like them all. Um, probably the green chili. I love the green chili. That's in volume one and in the gluten-free recipe. Um, yes, I have a really good fried rice. I think it's volume two. I can't remember. Barbara says make an egg roll bowl. Yes, I do make egg roll bowls all the time. Um, yes, Joanna, Joanne. Um, no. Um, um, turn off the heat. Oh, no. yeah, that'll help a little bit. Well, it'll help if you're yeah. <laughs> Joanne. Um, basic. Recipe for rice is in volume one right here. Super easy, stove top, rice cooker, it all does the same. The rec farm, what I love about Tara's recipes are they're short, quick, and easy. Yes, thank you so much. I do not have the energy or the time to um, stand very long in the kitchen. So I try to get in and out really quick and I don't, yes. And I don't want a novel you want to, to um, have to read to make a recipe. I totally get it. Um, Jan, I've been using Krusty's pancake mix it was given to us, but her son says that she likes our recipe in volume one so much better. Thank you. You tell your son, thank you. My family does too. I had just stocked up on crusties for um, recipe videos, and then I ended up not making those videos, so we ended up eating eating that. But my grandma used to use crusties all the time too. Edifying eggs were six dollars a dozen today. They stayed on the shelf. Holy cow! Yeah, they would. Barbara, Amazon has rice wrappers. Oh, really? Huh, I'll have to check that out because I've looked for rice wrappers and maybe they're just sold out. I don't know, but I haven't been able to find them since we've been in Wyoming. And Dale says, love French onion soup. Just made a pot today. Yep, very good. Um, Mama B, I've been a subscriber for six years and had to resubscribe and got unsubbed. I know YouTube is doing that to a lot of our viewers for some reason. Apparently Facebook did it to somebody too. Hmm. Well, thank you for noticing. Yeah, just please resubscribe guys. And guys, if you give us a thumbs up, that really helps other people to know that you like our channel. Please give us a thumbs up on all of our videos. That just really helps us a lot. And, and we really appreciate you guys doing that for us. 
Donna. Oh, if you're on the YouTube side, uh, when you do subscribe, if you want to get notifications when there's a live show, then you have to click where it says subscribed and choose like the all notifications bell. There I, didn't you know, go. I didn't know that. Amy, we don't have Asian stores in Wyoming. <laughs> Sorry, we have an Asian section. Well, we have an Asian Asian section at Walmart. Maybe I should check there. For oh yeah, I didn't have think you about not checked there. Well, no, because they used to be in the refrigerated department, so I didn't know that you could get them unrefrigerated. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, Jennifer, my husband came back from the store and was all excited because he found laundry pods on clearance and bought a bag. After watching your video, <laughs> lost all desire to try and. Oh man, I've been editing the other three laundry videos. So I've got, I got, I have powdered laundry detergent done. I have the eco laundry detergents, and then I have the liquid laundry detergents. Those three videos are coming up. Wow, was I shocked. You guys are going to be, uh, you guys are going to be shocked when you see it. Have, have I ever fasted for biblical reasons? I you know, heard. no, not really. We're Baptists. So <laughs> Baptists don't <laughs> Baptists don't believe in fasting. No, but I'm just kidding. I'm just, just kidding. Joking, just, joking. just kidding. If no, you, no um, Baptists have this joke about food, like everything is a food thing. Yeah. But, um, well, I've thought that we should from time to time. Yeah. And I've wanted to from time to time, but Probably having, should. Having to pray for self-control. <laughs> no, but it is totally biblical and I'm okay with that. I just, I know I have not necessarily for that. Um, Prepper Princess potatoes, five pounds for 250 carrots, 68 pounds, apples, 48%, 48 cents a pound. I miss California's food prices probably because everything grows here. It's cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. I totally get it. Judy, I do intermittent fasting. I am off all type two meds, lost 90 pounds, all depression meds. I don't want to even say I still have fibromyalgia. Yeah, that's where I, that's the point I want to get to. I'm really working on trying to get my health. You can send me the very last ones if there's something left. Um, that's uh, the point I'm wanting to get to because I know I'm a ticking time bomb. I had, I had gestational diabetes. So I know I'm a ticking time bomb and my eating is just from stress. And everybody keeps telling me to cut the stress out in my life. And I'm just like, well, you always wanted to, can I put that a, on the calendar somewhere? Cause I don't know where I'm going to. You get. always wanted to be a, uh, Oh, whoops. I, I see another a one hermit. Says six, but it's okay. seven. Yeah. She always wanted to be a hermit. And <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could just go up on the mountain and hide out in the national forest. I that. know. We'll take the forerunner and we can sleep in the back of the forerunner this time. That's true. To go camping. That's a great idea. We'll put the boys in a tent with See, the See, it was worth getting it. <laughs> I would. I have wanted to go camping for like five years, six years. No, like eight years. We haven't been camp. I haven't been camping. I have not been camping since Jack was four or five. Wow. Ten years. So, yeah, I think we should go camping. Yeah. We have some great places to go camping here, too. Actually, the doc told me of a place where uh, he has to, he and his wife take their horses in because it's like 26 miles back into the woods. Boy. <laughs> Deborah loves all her cookbooks. She's got all three. Thank you, Deborah. Guys, they're on sale right now. Grab them for our spring into saving sale. And it's going to end. When does it end? On Thursday? I think yes. Thursday. Um, Moss. B says we haven't been able to get anything to grow in our sandy yard in our new home. I have a word for you. Two words. Container gardening. Raised beds. I raised beds. I, when I've had yards like that, and believe me, the raised beds, you can grow anything and anything that'll hold water or doesn't hold water, anything that'll hold dirt, even shoes you can plant in. So... Uh, Hair Tide loves my super easy recipes channel. Thank you guys. Go check it out. My super easy uh, recipes channel. I cook out of my cookbooks and other, and other recipes, but yeah. The, uh, so I'm sharing the link in the comments, but the link for the super easy recipes channel is also in the description, both on Facebook. Uh, no, it's, oh, sorry. It's not on Facebook. Just on uh, YouTube. Only on YouTube because Facebook won't let us. But if you type that. in super easy recipes, I've got like 19,000 subscribers right now. So yeah. that's me. Um, hair tied. What's my party secret food decor activities? 
I think it's the food. Well, I think it's food and not over planning the activities. Yeah. I don't when, plan any activities. When our kids were, so when our older two kids were little, Tara, the first time we went to have a birthday party, she planned like pin the tail on the donkey and all sorts of other kinds of activities. And we had a tire swing in the backyard and we had the swing set and a big grassy area under the trees. And all the kids wanted to do was just run around under the trees and be on the tire swing. So on the fly, Tara just scratched the pin the tail on the donkey from the plan. <laughs> like, hey, if they're having fun doing what kids do, then just so let them I've go. So I've never planned anything for my kids' parties. And I think they everybody seemed to have a really good time. I would plan like a treasure hunt sometimes for some of the older kids. Um, like BJ's birthday is after Halloween. And so I would get Halloween candy for like Hershey's kisses, like 50 cents a bag. So what I would do is plan a treasure hunt and the five or six kids that we had, I would get five or six bags of Hershey's kisses. And then they would all be in the treasure box that I just was the mailbox or something. <laughs> and, but now we have a playhouse and we have a really big yard and we live by a pond so the kids can just run around. The older teen boys, they bring their cars over and park it in the driveway on the and boys. They put all the hoods up the... and they're all like, ooh, yeah. Oh. And then the younger ones are in the playhouse and then all the adults are sitting around the fire pit or sitting around the playhouse hoping that the kids don't. We do have to kind of supervise the playhouse a little bit so the kids don't kill themselves with <laughs> hauling rocks up and down and stuff like that. Most but, of them are pretty good. But yeah, they yeah. discovered rocks under, <laughs> under around this tree, under the, the playhouse is a, a tree house. And we got to do a rock cleanup this year. So well, I did it don't. last year, but oh, at the time the people before us had all thrown the rocks there every time they would mow. And so the kids found all the rocks and they were just throwing them everywhere in the yard. Yeah. So yeah, I, I went in and after, after I changed the lawnmower blade, then I, <laughs> Yeah. Them yeah. Uh, somebody says, Susan oh, says, and that's, that's another thing, sorry, is that Tara's not OCD about the furniture. Like, obviously, we don't want kids jumping on the furniture, but like, well, if, if they it gets, spill Kool Aid or something, it, gets it doesn't dirty yeah. or it gets messed up some way, you know. I can clean it. So that's one nice thing about buying a lot of, well, I guess our couch was new, but. That's the one thing that's nice about we we don't buy things that are so expensive that we have to just yell at everybody for touching it or being on it. Mm -hmm. And I think the kids like that too. So it's pretty laid back. If... And I like easy food. Like I'll make some Kool-Aid or lemonade and then I'll make some caramel corn out of our cookbook. I'll make cornbread out of our cookbook. I'll make chili, bean goulash. And um, then I collect paper plates and bowls and cups at garage sales and thrift stores. I find them unopened all the time. So I get the napkins and I get all those. And then the same with silverware. I found 300 pieces of silverware for a dollar at the thrift store a few, like two months ago. So I picked up that. So I just try to keep it really cheap and do that. Well, she's also found, uh, I don't know if you mentioned this, but she actually collected a small collection of toys for the younger kids that might come like Legos and, um, things like that. And there was one, one of the kids, I forgot, is it, is he have autism or something? Collects like, like, like bolts and things. Oh yeah. And he found a screw that had a sharp point on the end. So the next time he came, we made sure there were some bolts that were smooth. His parents <laughs> like super supervise him. So it's not like yeah. he's just randomly picking yeah. stuff up, but we got him some that weren't sharp on the end <laughs> and just left them in strategic locations <laughs> where we knew he would find them. <laughs> <laughs> um and susan said didn't we have a video in a camping cam yeah that's the last time we went camping so i think jack was only like oh that was in north park five or yeah he was like five i totally forgot about that i think maybe maybe he was six or seven i can't remember he was around between the five to seven Prepper princess says i'm the evil auntie that hides camouflage eggs oh <laughs> that's just mean <laughs> Oh man, those poor kids. Yeah, wow. I can imagine finding those at the lawnmower. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, and if I says you're not freaking out about making a party Pinterest perfect. No, I don't. Huh? I do. It is a little bit harder because our house is so big. 
that I'm thinking about putting a baby gate on the on the stairs and stuff because some of the kids are going downstairs unsupervised and that's probably not a real good idea. So I, we need to fix a couple of things like that. But like, you know, I thought if we could figure out a dance floor for outside, the kids could dance and all that and the older kids. Well, it's kind of funny because we have people with older kids like Jack and Dave's age. And then we have people with really younger kids like elementary school so it's kind of but we tend to agree like we tend to invite them so that like the younger kids have a lot of younger kids when they're here so yeah. or like well, there was one kid that his parents were uh concerned because he has i think it's a spectrum thing i can't remember for sure but um uh, they thought he wasn't getting along with people very well, but we invite, we kind of, we found a family that has a whole bunch of kids that are kind of a little bit wild. And it turns out that the family with the bunch of kids, they were like, I think there was a sister or something that was the older sister. And she was totally supervising the the one who the, his parents were afraid that he would be out of control and, and he just fit right into the group. It was amazing. So, yeah. so we tried to strategically, so it really helped him to to be around other kids. In fact, he remembered like the next time he came, he was he had to go make sure that everything was exactly in order in the playhouse and stuff. So that was pretty. <laughs> They're going to be surprised when they come this year because I I've got a new kitchen in there and a new table and a new chair. So now I need to find some little kitchen pots and pans for them. But <laughs> we got new stuff in there. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's a good idea. Amelia says they had quiet kids' tables activities. Yeah, like on the driveway, I'll put out our, our picnic blankets with the Legos for some of the younger ones and stuff like that, too, so the cement's not so hard. Oh, Edifying Gravity says our house was the fun house growing up. My mom was the only parent who let us move furniture so we could dance. Are we fun parents? Because we let them do that. I don't think our older kids would say that, but I don't know. We just... I think when our older kids were younger... We were just trying to survive, so we never had hardly anybody over or anything. Well, and I think Tara just had this knack about it anyway, but one time I bought a, one of those home theaters in a box that they had back in the day, and I saved and saved and saved and bought it, and I was like, oh, this is so awesome, and then the kids destroyed it in like two weeks. And <laughs> I remember being like, I love my kids. I love my kids more than stuff. And I just realized if you don't want to stress about it, then don't buy those things when they're little. And I think that Tar was kind of the same way with the furniture. Uh, and all stuff. our furniture was used until like a few years ago. Because if you have to couch, put plastic yeah. on your furniture and cover up the carpet with like those plastic sheets, then you probably should get over that until your little kids are out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Just have a dance out in the yard. Can they dance in the yard? Maybe they could. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, oh, Edifying Gravity says, as a mom of autistic kids, it warms my heart to hear about you, including kids who are different. It's funny because... Um, like all of our friends have kids with like autism or ADD or something. Or yeah. It's just, so, so it's kind of yeah. cool that... They all can get together and yeah, we have a, a our friends have a whole variety of. Sometimes there are some that have special needs, or some that are super advanced in other things, and there's like, I mean, all kinds of kids and. I don't. Know, it's cool, I think the group kind of is like that too. Thinking about yeah, bringing everybody in yeah. <laughs> so. Josephine, oh, I'm so sorry. She told her car, but she had gap insurance and it's paid off. Good job. She paid cash for her car. You go, girl. That is great. But Donna's still driving her 15-year-old car. She did buy a newer one, though. Yep, I totally get it. We still have our 20-some-odd-year-old Camry. Um, Kimberly says, when the can kids told me they like coming over because my house was so cozy and warm made me feel good. Yes, they like to just be themselves. Yeah, I can't stand it when parents are so touchy about their furniture and the walls and all this. It's like, oh my goodness, they're kids. I mean, no, they shouldn't just be carrying Kool-Aid all over the house. They need to learn to sit down at the table to drink Kool-Aid. But if you're that worried about it, don't be serving them Kool-Aid. 
you know, I just didn't serve red Kool-Aid at our house. And if we did have anything like that, it, they did it outside or at the tables. So, um, your mom says, remember the street dances in Nez Perce so you could dance in the street or I have on concrete. So do they, they did street I don't dances remember in Nez Perce? That. Where were those? Was that down like during the, I remember the parade. Hmm. I wonder if it was downtown somewhere. That was a little town that we used to live in in Idaho. A really little town. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Go check out our cookbooks, livingonadime.com. They are on sale for till next week. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Have, a good night. Have an awesome weekend.